Hello you gorgeous viewers, my name is Pinky and welcome to Pink Zara 8. How are you all? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a good week so far. Um, today's video, I, I'm very excited to do the video today, okay? I am going to go out. I'm on my way out. I'm going for a few drinks and I'm very excited to share my eye makeup tutorial with you uh, because this uh, tutorial, the color combinations that I use is my all-time favorite. Um, it just brings, it's very vibrant. It brings just a lot of character to your eyes and it enhances your beauty, natural beauty because your beauty is, is irresistible, let's face it, and I've said that to you before. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear a beautiful printed floral top by Terry Lynn. Um, it is a very colorful, very vibrant top. It's got so much character to it. You see, it's naturally, it's actually great on its own. It's a compliment to your, to your, to your personality, to your body. So I'm not going to overdo my makeup or I'm not going to wear any jewelry actually all I'm going to wear is my watch is um, is a bangle uh, a chrome bangle to just go with it and I'm going to allow my eye makeup to stand out and speak for itself so let's get started now uh, I'm going to show you the products I use which have always worked for me I do not in um, I do not get very excited in using heavy concealers and eye makeup. I normally don't wear a lot of foundation and I'm not, I'm not wearing any now. So it's, our focus is just going to be on our eyes. Okay, so let's start. Very important is for, you, for your makeup to stay on, you need to have a good base, good foundation. So if your foundation is great, the base is great, um, the makeup is going to stay very well. So we'll, we'll just start with... A piece of cello tape just don't get too excited with the quality because you want something that's going to rip off easily and it's not going to uh, uh, peel off any eyelid or your eyebrow or, or any facial hair you just don't want that that's disaster I know it's going to look extremely funny but you'll see the end results it is going to be absolutely gorgeous so what this does is it, it, it kind of builds boundary so you're not going haywire. We'll we'll smudge the we'll we'll spread it a little bit more to make it look more natural. But this gives it a very Arabic -y look. So let's get started. Now what I have here is a golden sand uh, by Collection 2000. I got I put sorry natural collection. I purchased this from Boots in London. You can also buy it online. But you can see it's a very sh uh, goldeny, shimmery, natural shade. So that's what you need. I'm going to use my hands. I'm not my fingers. Rather, I'm not going to use any brush because your finger actually allows it to spread naturally and very beautifully. Now, you may find the light is a bit too bright, and that's not by accident. I wanted it to be a little too bright so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I hope you can. You see, all you want to do is just cover the area first. It just it just gives a little bit of a shimmer and. It just looks very glamorous. Okay. That's that. Now that we've got the foundation set, let's start with the actual eye makeup. There. This is the base. So your color is going to highlight, it's going to show on this base. Um, the second item we're going to use is a metallic eye pencil now this is number seven from boots you can get that online or if you live in England it's fine if you can't find this another great company a good brand to use which actually is very easily applicable is LA girl um, and I know that's very easily available in a lot of a lot of places so do do try that product um, otherwise all you need to do is just look at a green metallic pencil now instead of using an eyeshadow, I'm going to use this because it's going to last a bit longer and all you want to do is just get a little crazy just around your eyes and just make a U, U or a semi V kind of shape, okay? That's all you want to do. It does not need to look beautifully perfect because we are going to smudge all of that in a minute anyways and now for this I'm not going to use my hands I'm just going to use a big fat brush like that just smudge it all over okay 
I'm going to use a few color, different colors and hence I want this green to highlight a lot more than the others. Can you see? You don't want to cover all of your eye. Um, this the skin here, you leave half of it, but you make a U shape sort of a pattern. And don't worry about being a perfectionist. You are going to come to it and it is going to look great. So don't worry about it. Now, now that we've found, uh, we've established a foundation, the green, I, can, I hope you can see the gold shimmer, the base we had already created. And this is the green. Now we're going to hop on to our next color. It's, by fam it's famous by Sue Moxley. I purchased this from Superdrug in London. So it is, it is beautiful. It, it's not very cakey, it's not very powdery, and apl it, the application of this product is so smooth. It is so sleek. It's a great, great product. I mean, I can't even emphasize anymore. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this brush again, and now I'm going to use a blue. It's a Royally electric -y blue. And if you don't have this, you can use another um, another brand which I also like. It's L'Oreal. I'm good old L'Oreal. And um, it's all night blue. It is just gorgeous. It's very shimmery. It's very classic. You can't go wrong with this blue. But always remember, people, with, if, you have, if you have eyes like mine, like hazel brown eyes, try to avoid um, colors uh, black or gray black and brown is the biggest fashion for but you don't want to make that error um, so I'm going to use blue which kind of blends in with the with my eye color here you are I know it looks really shocking and electrifying at the moment, but it's all going to come off. I'm going to definitely ease the pressure off a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit off, but you certainly want it to, you don't want it to fade. So just with the help of your finger, just blend both the colors. So you, when people actually look at your makeup, it looks like it's blending in together. You see, just fade it a little bit. Oh, you can also use a cotton bud. I'm a big fan. Never use um, water because that's just going to jeopardize your makeup, especially if you're wearing a lot of foundation and things like that. Don't make that mistake. Um, now, now that we've got, I don't know if you can see, we've got the green and the blue well together it's green and blue is a marriage made in heaven so it's just the most perfect combination now because my top has a little bit of uh, pink I'm going to add a dazzle of pink to my eyeshadow also um, so we've kind of covered all avenues of my of my top um, now I have a brush I purchased it this actually came with another set of uh, um, palette but this is such a great pro it's a curve it's an angled brush and all you want and this is by accessorize I unfortunately can't see the name on it because of um, it, it's kind of ruined unfortunately I'm terribly sorry but it's a it's a pink or any pink eyeshadow will also do with the angled area um, just rub a little bit in the center just a tab you don't want to get too excited about it you don't want it to overshadow the blue and the green so what will happen is once you're ready and you'll see in the mirror you can see the green a little bit of a hint of pink and blue and that's what you want you want to create a tri-color effect um, I generally don't take too much time um, doing my eye makeup it does not take me multiple minutes it's just such a quick job for me and again with the angle brush. Uh, before we do that, now another product from Boots is uh, number seven. It's metallic. It's a, it's a metallic eye pencil, O3 blue. All you want to do is just like a regular mascara, uh, eyeliner, or kajal pencil. Just 
Just don't get too excited about it. Just a little bit to give it that that hint of blue. That's what you want. Never use uh, makeup that's very old. Please keep on top of it no longer than a year. Uh, because obviously even your makeup has a shelf life um, and you know what if heaven forbid should you get any sort of reaction it's just not it's not worth it you know it's just not worth your while at all and um, again I'm going to use another shade of blue it's a bit it's a bit different again from um, Sue Moxley it's in the palette it's a very electrifying blue and a very um, purpley lavendery color the whole palette you, you can see it's just just perfect it's very beautifully designed the color so the first half of your lower lid is going to be with the purple we've done a blue eyeliner we're going to give it a purpley image to it there just half and the other half is going to be highlighted with this another uh, light sky metallic blue just to give it a little more definition so you've got a lot of vibrant colors especially for brown eyes I think it makes a beautiful beautiful impression God I've got some in my eye there you can see yeah that's the way you remove any makeup that actually gets into your eye never never rub your eyes because that's just disastrous okay now what I am going to do is with the help of a white shimmer can you see just dab a little bit not too much don't get too excited with it and highlight your eyebrow angle and if you take photographs even when you take pictures you can actually see that it just shines it just gives it that little definition and there. okay and then just Take this off. Can you see it's given it that little definition? That's what you need. And it hasn't gone. And if you some of if you don't like this Arabic look, if you think it looks it's too much, um, it's too bold for you, all you do is just blend it inwards. Just towards the end, blend it inwards, and it just becomes a part of you. I hope you can see this and I'm going to finally complete my makeup with the gosh and I've showed this to you in my tutorial before what's in my purse it's from gosh it's 05 the most amazing lip color ever given to a woman by cosmetic companies and normally I'll tell you normally what I've got a little bit of Vaseline but under the Vaseline I always apply a little bit of eyeshadow what that does is it, it allows your uh, color to stay for longer uh, and it's true, true business. You don't necessarily have to use a shimmer. You can use any nude shade, just a little dab or even talcum powder. It works. Trust me, it works. It will stay for a lot longer. Uh, because my lips are getting a bit dry, I've got, a, I've got a layer of Vaseline. And a final layer. Of... That's the look I actually wanted. I haven't, I'm not going to wear any more eye accessories. As you can see, um, the eye makeup I've got on, it just brings out so, it's so vibrant and so electric naturally on its own. I don't need any jewelry to, um, to um, allow my top to, to show off itself a bit. If you see what I mean? Let me just show you. I'm going, I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I am going to get ready, but let me just show you um, a little glimpse of what it may look if I had worn the top. So that's my eye makeup. I can see the blue, I can see the pink and the green, and this is how it would look. I'm just going to let my hair down, um, and that's it. Can you see? There it is. 
thing. It's a good thing to try. You see, sometimes we don't always want to necessarily depend on, on jewelry or heavy makeup. Just highlight on your assets and a woman's eyes can say a lot, you see. Uh, sometimes action speaks a lot louder than words, as you may have heard, and let your eyes speak. And this is what, what you need. Just it just makes it makes your eye look so vibrant if you like this video if you do try it on please tell me how you get on and if there's any other color combination that you think you'd like me to try i will be delighted uh to to do a video on it and before we we resume uh, we, we conclude this video a big big shout out to my friend in australia tanuja and she's the one who said to me that i must do a video or on eye makeup because she's very fond of my eye makeup and I absolutely love her for saying that to me. So Tanuja, this video is for you. I hope you like it. Uh, if you if you do try this makeup on, this combination on, like, share and subscribe and tell your friends about it and tell them to take a look at it. My name is Pinky, now signing off uh, from Pink Zara 8 and I hope you have a good morning, evening or afternoon wherever you're watching this video from. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.